I am going to show you how Kamal Kadai embroidery is done. This is one of the styles of Indian embroidery mainly done in the parts of Andhra Pradesh. It is done with the basic spokes and weaving. First start in the center of the pattern basically all motifs in Kamal Kada embroidery are the same either they are made with 5 petals or 3 petals or 4 petals and the leaves are also made with the same single petal. To start with start in the center of the petal center of the flower pattern and from there go to the one end of the first make the basic grid or the spokes. Now from this point to go to the next end next outside point see there is an inner point and then outside point here also there is an inner point and outer point. So from the outer point to the next outer point again go back to the center. again nearest point to the outer point. So, you have three spokes on one side and three spokes on the other side. Now, again to the outer point we have gone down here and immediately this is the nearest point. So, go to the next outer point go back to the center take a stitch very near just next to that point come back to the next outer point and go to the nearest outer point come back to the center. From the center to the outer point then next point is here go to the center and next point and come to the next outer point and go to the next point we have three spokes on the left and three spokes on the light right. Do not stitch like a satin stitch do not go up and down take it take the stitch from the one end to the other end nearest stitch. So, when you see behind you have only three lines it is not filled at the back it is not filled I will show you the next spoke from the center to the edge outer outer point then the nearest outer point from this point this is the closest nearest so go to the center the next spoke you take it in the nearest point come to the next outer point. See here you have two bends do not take from the inner points we have to take the stitch only from the outer points. These three points we have to take from these three points we take spokes to the center. See now starting from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
10, 11, 12. I will show you the spokes again. Starting from the center, go to the outer point. This is 1 and now 2 down. Third is the outer point nearest fourth go back to the center fifth is the nearest point in the center sixth seventh eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you see behind, you will find only three small stitches. At the back, it is not filled, the spokes do not show because we take the nearest stitch. We start here, go to the outer end and take it in the next outer end. Come to the center, take a stitch go to the next outer end, next outer end. From there come to the center, take a stitch, go to the outer end and next outer end. Again come back to the center. Now the spokes have been completed. Next, we are going to do the weaving. Now in Kamal Kadai stitch, the may, uh, basic grid or the spokes have been done. Now we are going to do the weaving part. As I already told you, Kamal Kadai is from Andhra Pradesh. Their language is Telugu. In Telugu or in all Indian languages, Kamal means flower or lotus. In Telugu, Kadai means stitch. So, this is a flower stitch or lotus stitch. The stitch resembles the patterns, resembles the lotus or a flower. It is called flower stitch or Kadai means stitch. It is called Kamal Kadai. Now, to start with the weaving, start in the same center point. We are weaving through the stitch. We have six spokes, first one down, second one up, third one down, fourth one up, fifth one down, sixth one up. And just pull it down, pack it down. The last one we just came up. So, again we are going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, up. The last spoke we have just come above that. So, while returning we are going down, down, up, down, up, down, up.
pack the thread very close to the base again down up down up down up down up down up down up in the last spoke you if you have come up now you have got got to go down otherwise in the last spoke if you have come down start from up since we have the we have done we have just come above the last spoke now we are just going below below above 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 it looks very pretty when you use multi shade or even double shade shaded thread looks very pretty on this stitch you can even use plain colors plain thread plain shade also will look very good multicolor takes it, takes its own shades the color gradation multicolor it takes its own shades Now you can see the gradation of shades. Very easy and very fast to do. But a very awesome stitch. when you run short of thread come to the end of the end of that one line one row just go beneath the last end last spoke just go below that just go deep inside the petal and put the thread put the needle down so it doesn't show where you have run short of thread where you have uh, finished the thread and where you are going to join the next thread but keep a track of where you have done where you have uh, gone down and finished completed the finished the thread so knot it up at the back
we just finished the thread got over here so I just went down and made a knot underneath now I am going to start in the same point start deep underneath and come out same point and continue down up down up down up when you use multicolor the continuity of the thread is also the sh shade of the thread is also very important Now you can see that this spoke has come to an end. So, there is no more space in this spoke to for the needle to go through. So, this will be the last time we go through this spoke. So, we have gone through this spoke. Here as well, this will be the last time down, up, down, up. down I have come through this spoke down here there is no space in the last spoke so I just return from the second last one see I just came down through this now so I go above this and then down up down there is no space in this spoke so I am just returning from this spoke right now I just came down below the below this spoke so I am going above this above down above below now we are going to work only on these four since these two spokes are done we are going to work only on these four spokes now I just came below this so go above down above below I just came down so above below above below this spokes also this will be the last time we are coming through this spoke so I just came down go above down up there is no space in this spoke so we are going to work only through these two spokes so I just came above so down up again down up down up down up down up keep weaving till the end of the spoke till there is no space in the spoke now come to the end of the spoke just go beneath the petal just go beneath the petal go down and 
pierce the needle down. You have come to the end of the petal. There is no, no more room in the spoke. Just go down and knot it up. Even after weaving the whole petal, there is no thread at the back. You can see only the spoke stitches. When you use the multi shade, it is always better to cut, if you have 4 petals, you cut 4 lengths of threads of the same gradation of the uh, shade. See, I have started with dark blue, then yellow, pink, purple, again navy blue, in this gradation, the next petal also, when you start, you start with navy blue, yellow, pink, purple, the same gradation if you do. The, if all the four petals are the same, it will look very pretty. We have to cut the thread accordingly. All the four uh, 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 spokes should be done in the same gradation of the color. Kamal Kada embroidery, Indian, Indian style embroidery, one of the styles of Indian embroidery from Andhra Pradesh. Kamalkara embroidery done in plain colors. The petals I have done with the flower petals I have done with plain colors, plain red. You can see the leaf has been done with the gradation of light, lighter shade to the darker shade, lighter green to the darker green. The same petal shape has been given to the leaf as well. The combination for Kamalkara stitch is herringbone stitch and stem stitch. The stitch has an embossed effect. The same Kamal Kadai embroidery, here the flower petals have been used with plain shades. The leaves have been used with double shades, shaded green. The combination is chain stitch and stem stitch.